My name is Raf Owazulike. I'm the leader of the movement for actualization of the southern state of Biafra and the Biafra independence movement. As you are aware, Maso was founded in Lagos in 1999. When Maso was founded, we had 25 cities was the actualization of the effort. We followed these studies up to 2004 when we took out four aspects of the program together. These four aspects included no census, sit at home, no election, and referendum. We took the first aspect of it, no census. And in that no, no census, our people were advised by Maso not to participate in the census on that year, 2004. Because of that, our figure in that census came to low. In that same year also, we took out the aspect of sit at home. Our sit at home in 2004, we call it total success, total compliance, not only in the southeast, but south south, Lagos, Kano, Kaduna, up to Kotonu. Ghana. To the extent that when BBC asked the then president, Mr. Obasanjo, what was happening in Nigeria, he said that the Igbos went for their New Year festival. We did all this. It was because of this, the sources of uh, Sita Tum, that I was arrested in 2005 and returned in Nigeria. In uh, Abuja, I was detained for two and a half years. I was only released in 2007 after the death of my mother. I was given 90 days by justice to uh, be in Tangaku to go and bury my mother and come back to prison. I used 70 days to bury my mother. I went to uh, over the uh, police station for them to take me to Abuja. The then commissioner of police made several calls and came back to me and told me that the people at Abuja said I should go home, that they would not take me to Abuja again. After a few days, our leader didn't want to be keep me so pretty for the years. Invited me to a meeting. When I got to a meeting, I saw a barrage of other leaders, people leaders. Listen. He sat me down and asked me to explain to them the doctrine of no census, sit at home, no election, referendum. I explained all these things to them. One after the other, that audience picked holes in these four cardinal points. On the issue of no census, they blamed me for the for, for the downtrend in regarding the population of our people. In that sense, they blame me that the population of our race has become insignificant in Nigeria. I apologize. On the issue of Sita Tour, one of the participants in that tour educated me that. 
the five southeastern states actually plays a very minor role in the economy of Nigeria. He told me with class that our contribution in the economy as a then was less than 8%. I mean the five southeastern states. That person up to today is an intellectual, is a person known in Nigeria as far as economy uh, or economics is concerned. Then on the issue of uh, no election, though I'm a lawyer, but other lawyers there on that day we brainstormed on the issue of no election. And we realized that it's just a, a constitutional matter. The 1995 Constitution provides that for a president to emerge, he just requires about 25% uh, in the two in the in two thirds of 36 states and Abuja. And two thirds just about 24 states. Southeast has only five states. So if you subtract five states from 36 uh, states, you have uh, 31 states. So without the Southeast. A president of Nigeria will emerge without any problem, whether you participate or not. Even if you combine South East and South South, you get about 11 states. If you subtract 11 states from 36 states, you still have uh, 25 states. So a president of Nigeria can still emerge from 24 states out of that 25 states. On the issue of no election for governors, the constitution provided that a president can pick or nominate anybody he likes as administrator of the state if, there are no, election is, if no election is held in that state. So the issue of no election is neither here nor there. On the issue of referendum, we also discussed extensively here that even the word referendum is not in the 1999 constitution. And for you to insert that clause, referendum, you have to amend the constitution, which requires two thirds of the numbers of the uh, National Assembly and two thirds of the houses of the uh, House, House, of, House of Assembly in the, in, 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 in the states. So for you to get that, after that to find that provision, then you start to talk about uh, the census itself, which has to be through the bill in the National Assembly. The President does not have automatic proclamation to say let there be referendum. After that discourse, I came to realize that we have made so many mistakes. That was in 2008. We dropped the idea. The idea of censors, or of no censors, no uh, election, referendum, sit at home. We told the four of them in 2008. Then we came back to re-strategize and say, what else can we do? Then we brought other aspects I will not even tell you now. Because from that aspect, we brought out that made me go to London in 2009 to find uh, Radio Biafra London, London, which I appointed Nandi Kalman as the director. By the end of that year, 2009, Nandi Kalman changed and started speaking against the program of myself. I don't want to go further with that. But the issue I want to establish here is that since he, he started speaking against that lady and formed the so-called uh, IPOB, they have dwelt, dwelt on, on, uh, on, on three program agenda from the 2004 agenda we dropped in 2008, which includes no election, 
di tajum sampai berentok then we begin to think of what benefit are these to the problems of people man what do we want to achieve with all this i tried to keep quiet over this people were calling me they are criticizing you they are blackmailing you in your radio and all that i said no it doesn't matter everybody's talking about biafra and for a new person to succeed he has to blackmail or was wicked okay? Was we can have been there for years and not gotten there for and for you to succeed, you have to blackmail me. Otherwise, how do you succeed? You say you can get there for in three months. Let me see. From three months to six months to one year to two years up to today. I'm not gotten there for. But that's not my concern. That's not my worry. My worry is the adverse effect all these have on our people. The untimely death of innocent citizens. Just yesterday, after the uh, so-called phantom um, dance or whatever, that occasioned the death of so many innocent youths, in a far Nambi Kano came up again to say no election. He had previously said no election in Anambra State. And the election was held in Anambra State. In Anambra today there is a, 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 a government in that state. What became of the effect of the so-called no election in Anambra State? Now we are coming up again to say no election in the southeast. What become what will become the effect of that no election? Why all this? Why all this? Because you are now in Israel, others are in London and America. The leadership of the so-called IP. But the innocent one that will die are here. In the southeast and south south, the innocent boys will die. Why we are there saying no election, no uh, referendum, blah blah blah. I want to talk to our people. It is not my place to speak ill of anybody that is agitating for Biafra. Whoever that talks about Biafra today is my closest friend and closest brother. That the methodology matters. There must be sincerity of purpose. After the disappearance of Ronald Bicano, it was Ralph was it was one of the people, the family black men. They started from uh, uh, was we care, was, uh, had been hired by the federal government to wear a mask to testify against Ronald Bicano. So was Rike brought Phantom uh, dance to Afaruku to kill Nam Bekano. As a matter of fact, his younger brother was accusing me that I knew the whereabouts of Nam Bekano. When they were actually having discussions with him in his high house. After one year and one month, why is it now that Nam Bekano is the actual man to talk about election? Because of Money. Because of money. Now the souls of people, young men and women that died, nobody remembers them again. Another election has come up. Is that the right thing to do? How can you achieve no election in Nigeria? Tell me. How can you achieve it? If there is no election in the southeast, how does it affect anybody in Nigeria? The president will appoint uh, 
and persuade us in the stairs. And so what? Life continues. Now we are telling us that uh, uh, you, uh, your men, security men, defended you and took you out of Nigeria, of Afanoku. But you did not tell us how you got back your, your, your travel documents, how you got your uh, 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 passports, because the SSS or DSS informed us that they were in the custody of your passport, both the British and the Nigerian passports. But today, you are now in, in, in Israel. Who gave you the passports to travel to Israel? You didn't want to tell the, your members that. So our people, we have to be wise. I'm not against anybody. I'm not against anybody. I welcome anybody that wants to be part of the struggle. The struggle is not for one person. But your hands must be clear. It must be genuine. When I was telling people before that Nandikano was brought in to degrade myself, people never believed. But today, it's becoming clearer now. It's becoming clearer. How somebody whose passports were seized by the government escaped from the Panton Dance where many people were killed. And is that uh, out of Nigeria, unnoticed, from which airport, from which seaport, from which border, with which uh, passport? People have to know what is the truth. So that's what I want to tell our people. Um, I'm not in any scramble with anybody. By the grace of God, I played a very little role in the formation of uh, Masol. I made some contribution. I was not elected by anybody to play with the Masol. I don't need anybody's congratulations. I don't need it. I did it from my conscience. By the time I started Masol, no evil man had ever been the chief of army staff. No Igbo man has ever been the chief of air staff. No Igbo man had been the secretary of the government of the federation. No Igbo man had been the inspector general of police. Name them. But if it like started, in less than four years, the Igbo, uh, Igbo men occupied all these positions. That's to my credit and the credit of my members. Nobody will take them away. The only difference today is that there is this social media we suffered more than any other person. The so-called uh, Faruku uh, Pantanda is just a minute, inconsequential attack. We had heavy casualties in Okwe. So many times the soldiers came, killed so many people, no, but it was only for them. In Omola or Kigwe, we lost over 200 men. I presented myself. To the, to, the, to, the, to the soldiers to kill me. They, they took me with the dead bodies and brought me to, 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 to a well. Police station. Stay CID. All these things, people saw them. I have never run away. I have never tried to run away. But a little incident in Apaloku, somebody was smuggled out. How many times have the government, I challenged them. If they want, I name names. How many times have they offered me free passage? I want them to deny it, and I, I, I name names. I said, I'm not living anywhere. I'm not living uh, uh, Biafra land. I'm not living Ibo land. I can never go on exile for any reason. I will die here. But somebody used my radio to blackmail me, was wicked sold out, was wicked collected money. What, what, why should I join issues with you?
Why should I join issues with you? God knows whether was it was they collected money or not. God knows whether was it was sold out or not. History will we tell. Time will tell. But my advice is that parents should talk to their children. Outside of Juku, I am the leader of the new Biafra. So, believe it or leave it. I'm not begging anybody to support me on that. Whether you like it or not, it's history, it's there. I, I cannot come to the social media to struggle with anybody for supremacy. I cannot do that. Some media houses have been junketing. I have no time to lobby anybody to place me on the front page of any newspaper with anybody. I don't have that time. I have made my little contribution. Let any other person make his bet. Whatever you are doing, do with clean hands so that posterity will keep your records for you. Thank you.